I delusionally really thought that I could drive after my first 20 hours. A lot of people fail during the highway. I did a mock-up exam, I passed it, and then I did the real exam, I failed. back to my channel so on today's video i'm going to finally tell you and to finally share my experience on how i got my driver license in the netherlands so you guys have probably know that i have been trying to get this driver license for so long if you guys watch my videos i always take you guys and tell you that i am doing my driver license and now i finally got the driver license so i am very excited to tell you and also to share my experience and hopefully to help you get your driver license here in the netherlands especially for you guys who are not familiar with the process of getting the driver license in the netherlands and in my case since i am a non-eu and i am from indonesia and i have never driven a car in my entire life so that will be very different to where i come from and the rules are very different compared to the netherlands here so let's just get started so the process of getting your driver license consists of two exams so first you need to get your theory exam you need to pass them before you can actually allowed to register for a practical driving exam so you need to pass first the theory and also the driving exam to finally get your driving lesson so for the theory you need to do your exam and my advice is that you book your exam way before because the waiting line is crazy i advise you to book it two months in advance because in my personal experience my exam have been cancelled or rescheduled due to corona so i suggest you guys to really plan your exam in advance so that you can practice and also study your theory efficiently as a reference, I took my exam three times. Yes, three times, I'm telling you, and I passed on my third try. On my first, second try, I didn't pass, and I took it outside of Utrecht. So you can imagine all the pressure and all the things that I'm thinking, and at the end, I didn't pass. And yes, for your theory, you can do it outside of your city, because again, it's just a theory, but I suggest you to do your practical um, exam in the city that you practice your driving so that you are familiar with the routes and also the roads and just the area itself. So for the exam, you will be given a pair of headsets and you need to do your exam on screen on a computer that they will provide. So you will sit in front of a computer by yourself and in a room full of other students who are doing the exam as well. So in the screen itself, you will do your exam and the exam consists of three stage or like three types of exams. And I will not really dive deep into the theory because I'm not a teacher myself. So I suggest you to study and also practice a lot of the mock-up exam. So speaking of studying, let's get to the tools and method that works for me and help me pass my theory exam. I have tried three different types of tools and method. The first tool that I use is the book. You obviously need to read the book in order to know all the regulations, all the signs in the Dutch road. And the book is quite thick. I personally think it's quite thick. I mean, it's, it's, it's this thick, full of theory, and you need to understand and remember every single one of them because you don't know what are they going to ask you specific but the books are sectioned in topics and you should learn everything so the book is crucial to get in-depth insight of the rules and, and the second method that i try is doing a one day full course so it is a one day course from nine until five 
you will be studying all the things you need to know for the exam so it is nine to five and you only have a break of 30 minutes or one hour i believe but i personally think that this is not effective because first you are going to be filled with a lot of theory from nine to five and your brain is just super overloaded with a lot of theories at the end of the class you will be given one time to practice the mock-up exam so to me personally i don't think that's efficient i wouldn't be able to grasp and understand and remember all the things that i need to remember Obviously, I didn't understand and remember all the things that I learned from 9 to 5. And the third one, and actually this is my favorite, is to practice your theory in a, an, in a app or website. It's called theoryexamen.nl. This is not sponsored. This is just what I really recommend and also what helped me pass my theory exam. So this website is basically like a subscription base. So you have access to this website to practice your theory and also to do some mock-up exam within the website. And I'm telling you guys, some of the questions that were in the website were literally in my exam. So this is such a goal. For the driving lessons itself it is advised to drive 40 hours on the dutch road before you finally take your practical exam i know i know it sounds crazy it sounds like it's a scam but it is what it is and i tried it myself i delusionally really thought that i could drive after my first 20 hours of class but it didn't happen. I failed right away because I didn't have enough practice. I have never driven a car in Indonesia, but I can see the difference. And in Indonesia, you drive on the right side and here you drive on the left side. So that itself is already different. As a reference, I drive a manual car. So it is a little bit different with the gearing from the right side to the left side. To plan a successful driving lessons, in my opinion, and in my experience, I really advise and recommend you guys to do it intensively because you are still in your learning journey. So you want to do and repeat the same thing over and over again until you finally understand how to drive a car. I try to do two times a week or three times a week. It really depends what stage I was in during my learning journey. For example, I am still in my parking learning journey so i need to do it really often so that i can finally park so i would schedule two times or three and i personally book it in advance i will book my whole class for the whole month so i know what i can do with my uni and also schedule things around so i am right on track on my driving lessons because i also did it differently previously i just plan really like once in two weeks and it is not working because you will immediately forget like seriously during my learning journey it means that i i am not there yet i still can't drive if you pause between your lessons let's say you do it once in two weeks you will forget i legit forget how to turn on the car because i have never driven a car and it was two weeks ago when i turned on the car moving on to the exam so how does a practical exam looks like so before you do your practical exam you will be given an option to do a pre-exam which means that you will have a mock-up exam but this will only help you to understand if you are ready or not for your real exam but if you pass your pre-exam doesn't mean you pass your real exam this mock-up exam is just to prepare you for your real exam so let's get to the most important thing or one of the most important things on getting your driver lessons in the netherlands which is the price 
According to CBR, the advice driving lessons is approximately 43 lessons and the cost is really depends on the region and also the lesson cards either you're doing manual or automatic and also really depends on the driving schools. Usually per lesson costs 45 euros until 50 euros per 55 minutes. So let's say you are taking 43 classes times 50 euros that will add up into 2150 and for the theory exam itself it is a fixed price of 37 euros in the cbr but they also have options if you want to take it in english or if you want to have extra time for the practical exam cost it is around 122 and 50 euros for the cbr but you do need to pay your driving school for their car The real deal is when you actually drive. So during the driving, you will have like, you will be given like 50, 55 minutes to drive. You will drive wherever the examiner asks you to drive. They will tell you where you have to go. And at some point you will also need to use the navigation. So you need to know how to use the navigation and make sure if you don't speak Dutch, make sure the navigation is in English. They will ask you to do two special maneuver it could be parking it could be a u-turn it could be um driving backwards it could be anything they will not tell you and they will not tell you where to park so during the parking session they will ask you please park in this area you will need to decide whether you need to do a parallel parking whether you need to do a reverse or in front parking you need to decide you need to make your own judgment and they will not tell you park here or park there you need to figure it out yourself and during the exam you also will go to the highway and honestly you guys not to scare you a lot of people fail during the highway and not during the parking but during the highway Let me walk you through my journey of getting my driving lessons in the Netherlands. So first for the theory, mind you that all this is happening during the Corona, during the pandemic panoramic back in 2020. So I needed to do my, my theory exam three times and it also got like suspended or extended one time so it got delayed over a month or so on top of me failing two times yes i failed two two times i was studying with the book and also with the one day course and it didn't work for me it was just too much the lack of mock-up exam practice that i was doing i was just reading without actually like practicing and like doing the exam and on my third attempt i finally made it so i did it last year literally november last year i passed my theory exam and mind you after you get your theory exam you only have one and a half year to finally have your driving license so you feel me this pressure is building up really really bad <laughs> and after that in february i need to move to paris for five months so i got around roughly two months to do my first attempt to get my driver license however unfortunately i did not because it is advised to do like 40 hours but i only did 22 hours i did a mock-up exam i passed it and then i did the real exam i failed my first exam was something else because not only my examiner was not in the mood but also there was some trouble that I faced. If you know me, then you know that I am not tall. Like I am 5'2 slash 158 centimeter, not even 160 centimeters, can you imagine? So in the Netherlands, I am considered short or in the whole world, I am considered short, except in Indonesia, I might be considered as like medium. So anyway, during my 22 hours of lesson, i have been driving with the help of pillow so i would sit on a pillow because i couldn't see enough in the car and the car seat was like not flat it was like like slanted so like what was slanted so when you see it my 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 butt would just go down and i would just like drive like this 
so I need something to like flatten out the surface so I thought a pillow right a cushion so, so during my 22 hours of lessons I have been using the pillow and during the mock-up exam I used my pillow and I told the examiners like ma'am I can see anything I need my pillow and I have been practicing with my pillow so is can I use my pillow and she said yes you can use your pillow because this will help you okay thank you period during my real exam the examiner was like asking why do you need a pillow and I said well I used this during my mock-up exam and the other instructor told me that it is allowed because it will help me and so I have been practicing with the pillow now if I drive without the pillow I can't see anything and I am not used to it and the examiner say no because it has to be a medical reason and I'm like okay why did I know that and why was I am allowed to do that during my mock-up exam and why my instructor didn't say anything like there are so many questions so during my first exam I did it the first time without my pillow girl i cannot see anything so my first exam didn't went successful so i hope you learn from my experience and if you are short like me please practice without the pillow because you are not allowed to drop with the pillow and fast forward after i failed my first attempt i had to move to paris like i'm done like i need to pause it so i took a break about six months of driving and then I finally go back again to my driving lessons and took another 20 hours of classes this time without a pillow and I am used to it I did some parking, special maneuver and then the examiner wants me to use the navigation, the GPS and while using the GPS, like mind you, I never been to this area like I just don't know where I am and then I miss the location i missed the destination that i was supposed to i was like just driving and the navigation said like and 200 meters turn right i don't know how much is 200 meters so i was just like okay i passed it but i try my best to just stay calm and since the navigation will redirect you you just need to follow it so the biggest tip is that you need to be really really calm during your exam because when you are nervous you can just you can just like flip the whole thing i thought i didn't pass because i just think like i made a mistake obviously not because i passed right but in my mind i thought i made a mistake and i switched i was like okay forget about that just focus and it really helped me you just really need to set your mindset to be really focused and other things that helped me is that breathing i legit took three deep breath every traffic light every time i get the chance to just stop i would just breathe that's why i told the instructor not to talk to me because i need to refocus myself focus on the road and forget all the thoughts that i have about my drive so that is it for today's video also hope that you learn how to get your driving license in the netherlands and learn more about the process of it and i hope that this will help you Get your driving license in the netherlands if you have any questions just ask me through instagram or on, under the comments below i will try to answer it because i know how hard it is for somebody who did not know anything about the dutch road or about the process of getting the driving license in the netherlands so i'm here just trying to share my experience and hopefully this will help you so once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye